Have you ever looked at your closet and thought to yourself, "Okay, I'm not sure how I got here, but this closet is overflowing, but somehow I have nothing to wear." Well, you're not alone. I was there myself not too long ago. You see, you don't really need the most impressive wardrobe. What you need is a realistic one and one that is actually functional for you. In this video, I will dive into some easy ways you can build a realistic wardrobe that will actually serve you really well. First of all, whatever you do, make sure you shop for yourself and not your fantasy self or anyone you see on social media. And please allow me to give you a bit of context. I used to own a Cartier Love bracelet. It was beautiful and versatile, but deep down, I knew it wouldn't work for me because of the nature of my job. The thought of having to unscrew the bracelet on a daily basis just seemed too much work. But I didn't want to acknowledge that because, according to everyone else, the love bracelet was timeless, classic, and a fantastic investment piece. Long story short, I caved in and bought the bracelet, and unsurprisingly. In the three years I had it in my collection, I wore it probably less than ten or fifteen times. Eventually, I came across this Hermes CDC bracelet, and I kind of knew straight away that this is my bracelet. I should probably point out that. Back then, this bracelet wasn't getting a lot of coverage on social media, so I did have a bit of hesitation. But I bought it anyway because I really like the design and the fact that this is so easy to put on and remove. I'm really glad I listened to myself this time because I've really been enjoying this bracelet. So the key message here is: social media can be inspiring and helpful, but it's not designed to tailor to everyone. So if you want to Build a functional and realistic wardrobe. You need to put yourself first and try to personalize every decision to suit your own needs. I think it also really helps to follow people and accounts that feel relatable to you, just so you're not shopping for a completely different lifestyle that is in no way similar to your own. My second tip for building a realistic wardrobe is investing in simple pieces that you feel comfortable. Wearing every day. Ideally, these pieces should also easily complement everything else you wear. And please let me share another personal example of mine. Years ago, I had this Van Cleef Magic Alhambra necklace in yellow gold and mother of pearl. The necklace was absolutely stunning, and the craftsmanship was flawless. But I didn't really wear it. First of all, it wasn't something I could wear on a daily basis, seeing it was such a statement piece. Besides. My outfits are usually quite casual, so this necklace often look out of place. To be honest, it did feel a little bit like a chore to wear the magic Alhambra necklace because I had to adjust my outfit to accommodate the necklace rather than the necklace completing my outfits. I then decided to look for something simple, and I purchased this Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra necklace in rose gold. This might not have the same wow factor like the magic Alhambra, but it's so much more wearable and versatile. In the last few months, I've been really enjoying this diamond necklace from Idol. Pairing this requires zero effort because it goes with everything. Now, simplicity is a very desirable feature when choosing our everyday pieces, but that doesn't mean you are restricted to the very basic designs. I think it's always okay to spice things up a bit and add some playful elements in a subtle way. I especially love earring studs because they are never really in the way, and they are great for any seasons. In the winter, especially, earrings are fantastic accessories because they don't get buried underneath those thick layers of clothing. If you love earrings as much as I do, you need to look into idol pieces. The diamond stud is simple and timeless, so you can certainly wear it on its own. But if you want to take things up a notch, They have a lovely selection of add-on pieces for you to create different looks. All their pieces are handmade with 14 karat gold, and everything is really dainty but full of sparkles. They recently sent me this left earring, 
which is right up my street. I like that this earring is one of a kind, but still simple enough to go with everything. In fact, a lot of idol pieces really show how simple doesn't mean boring. I think their designs are so very unique in the sense that they make a statement but at the same time, they are also fairly minimal and delicate. The best part is idol pieces are sustainable because they only feature lab-grown diamonds. This means there's no mining involved and they are also a lot more affordable. If you're looking for your perfect everyday jewelry pieces, I have a discount code down below for 10% off and you can use it on all diamond pieces from idol. The next tip for building a wardrobe you will actually like is to never compromise on comfort. I feel like comfort is very much underrated in the world of fashion. We often talk about how to look chic, put together and even expensive. But the reality is most of us lean towards comfort before anything else in everyday life. I mean, think about what you wear on a daily basis. Are they the catwalk pieces or are they the comfy element in your wardrobe? Quite often, it's the latter. And let's look at shoes as well. It doesn't matter how sexy or fabulous they look. If they scratch your feet or give you blisters, you just won't wear them. I feel like a good example is the Christian Labouton sole cake. The heels on these shoes measure a whopping 11cm. They are regarded as one of the most beautiful shoes but also the most uncomfortable. I think we'll all agree something like these are exactly what we shouldn't include in a functional wardrobe. Years ago, when the Valentino Rockstar collection launched, I really wanted to buy the high heels but as soon as I tried them on, I just knew I wouldn't ever wear them. Eventually, I decided to buy the flats and I've been really enjoying them. These are really comfortable to walk in. I probably wouldn't wear them for hiking, but I certainly don't have to worry about my feet hurting when I attend a wedding or a party. In fact, I decided long ago that I will no longer buy high heels because the discomfort just isn't worth it for me. Another practical tip for building a functional wardrobe is to avoid buying things that you're too scared to use. For example, if you're like me and you don't enjoy seeing scratches on your handbags, don't go for smooth, delicate leathers, no matter how shiny or luxurious they look on display. Years ago, I was really interested in the Celine box bag, but back then they were only available in the box ladder, unless if you went for the exotic ladder options. So one day I dropped by Celine and they had a few pieces on display. Lo and behold, all of them had scratches and it really put me off because I knew I would get very stressed out if I had to baby my handbag. Same thing happened again when my Hermes seal associate offered me the Constance Mini in the box ladder. Even though I really hesitated about the choice of ladder, I didn't turn it down straight away because a Constance bag is so hard to come by. But when I saw the bag in person, I knew I had to be honest with myself because I would be too scared to use it. This explains why a lot of my handbags are in textured leathers because I just find them a lot more practical and worry-free. While we're on the topic of using things without fear, I think it's also appropriate to talk about how our things make us feel. For example, have you ever felt conscious when wearing certain pieces. I remember I used to be really aware when wearing my Hermes Kelly necklace in rose gold. The pendant was beautiful but every time I had it on it felt like I was wearing a mini gold bar on my chest and it was getting way more attention than I like. So I put off wearing it for a long time and eventually I decided to sell it. From there, I realized I prefer dainty necklaces. This diamond necklace, for example, is something that I really enjoy wearing. Even though I have received several compliments, I feel good about wearing it. At the end of the day, that's what matters, right? The things we wear should make us feel good and we shouldn't feel awkward or tense when having them on. 
My next tip is to keep the special occasion element to a realistic percentage in your wardrobe. And yes, I'm referring to those fancy parties, weddings, and fashion shows. I'm not sure if you can relate to this, but I used to be that girl who would buy too many dresses for the weddings I had yet to be invited to. And seeing those dresses were very event specific. I couldn't wear them in my daily life, so I kind of just sat there waiting for the next invitations. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have any special occasion pieces. I just personally wouldn't make them a substantial part of my wardrobe. If you are hoping to optimize the special occasion section in your wardrobe, try to look for one or two dresses that make you feel amazing in and be okay with repeating outfits at different events. But if you are really conscious about it, try to include something that will allow more versatility, such as a skirt. This way, you can change up the top and the shoes to create more varieties. As for the more expensive pieces, consider going for something that you can wear up and down especially when you're selecting your first few pieces. For example, I think the Lady Dior is really versatile. It looks lovely with casual outfits, but also very elegant with dresses. Whereas a bag like this Louis Vuitton mini palm spring backpack might be a bit restrictive in terms of versatility. Now, I want to stress that I love a good casual bag, but it is reassuring to have all my bases covered. So those are some of the very practical tips to build a realistic wardrobe. Now, I've done several outfit videos before, so I'm sure you've noticed a lot of my bags, shoes, clothes, and jewelry are always on repeat. I actually really like the fact that I'm making good use of my pieces because I believe looking good can be and should be sustainable. If you have any other good tips to suggest, please share them down below. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the comment section.